this is the pro league. Um, you got guys that are just as good, if not better, on the opposite side of you, and you know you can't you know waste any time or any reps, um, you know, in a game like that, especially in a, in a you know you know bowl game. Everybody's flying around, everybody's laying it on the line, and they're gonna play to that 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 clock strike zero. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he's I feel like he's underrated too as well. I feel, I've seen him multiple times uh, break tackles. I've seen him multiple times uh, just you know make plays after contact. And <clears throat> anytime you see that on film, you know that he's he's you know he's not an average player at all. And you know you got to respect a guy like that. So um, for us, we just got to continue to keep playing with how we've been playing, being great tacklers, and um, you know do what we do. Oh um, man, I'm enjoying. It. I'm having fun. I'm learning from guys that have been in the year um, in, the, in the league five plus years. I'm learning from guys that are, you know, maybe even younger than me or guys that are around my age. But you know, you you kind of just pick you know different pieces from everybody game, and you kind of put it in your own. You know, and it kind of makes you more of a complete player. And you know, when you got this many smart guys on one team, is you know also with the coaches of just you know all of the the years of just knowledge of you know the NFL football NFL. Um, you know, it just makes you a lot better player, and um, you know, I'm just trying to be a sponge and soak everything up. You feel like uh, having faced those guys earlier in the season mm -hmm. kind of helped you for this game a little bit in terms of you know you get an idea of what you know what mm -hmm. to expect. Well, yeah, um, I would say just just the fact that you know you kind of know some of the things they do well, some of the things they don't do well. But I was saying too, you know, there's pros and cons to it. They, you know, they know a little bit about about you. They know some of the things that you do well and what you don't do well. So. Um, you know, it just kind of goes back and forth, man. But, uh, you know, it's going to be another exciting game. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I know you get asked about Mahomes a lot, but mm -hmm. just when you see a guy out mm -hmm. there looking like Steph Curry, just, you know, <laughs> yeah. just you know, no look passes, yeah. sidearm and stuff like that. I mean, how do you explain what that guy does? Man? I mean, you can't explain it. It's just natural ability. I mean, the dude is, you know, he's. I feel like he's he's lived up to the hype, man, um, about, his, about his arm. Uh, he has once-in-a-decade type arm, man. You know, he's, he's been carrying his team for, you know, the years that he's been in the league and he continues to do it. And, um, you know, he's going to be a guy that we have to, you know, really prepare for and knowing that, uh, you know, he's he's not a he's not a one-sided guy. I feel like he still can, you know, make plays on his legs as well. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Kelsey is the same way, man. I've, I've, you know, sure, a lot of guys are saying that he's the best tight end in the league. I mean, he's playing like that. Uh, so you, you, he's another guy you have to account for. I mean, they have guys all around, I mean, that, that whole offense that can make plays. And, you know, like with the Texans game, uh, you just got to make sure that, you know, you play four quarters and, um, you know, just make sure that they don't, you don't have them, give them a chance to, you know, come back.